Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is part two of the pebble dashing and um, dry dash. And you can see it's a different job and this used to be a window which has been blocked up. So you can see it's all already scratched as well and like I said in the the previous video that it's also scratched with a three to one coat and my top coat here is a four to one coat um, I'm doing a slightly different method here um, although you can see the shade from the roof slightly is more or less covering the whole thing so this one I don't expect to dry just as quick and you can see I'm getting a, a very good spread here and getting literally the whole thing covered and I'm, I'm sort of just staying away from the edges slightly um, but this is a different method slightly different method um, than the first video and you can see they've wet down the wall it's been scraped and wet down uh, even soaked all the edges down as well same as the first video um, I recommend that if you're patching pebble dash you wet anything you're patching up to just to stop it also soaking in the moisture from your your coat from your sand cement coat and um, so yeah I'm just sort of just playing on here and um, like I said it's a different method and I do this now again as well and um, sort of would have been easier to do this method on the first video as well but I wanted to show both methods and you can see I'm just coating away and what I'm doing in this one is when I work to the edges I'm staying back I'm not I'm not coming right out just yet and again I have all my mix in a nice clean tub here and I am using a, a scoop and you all know I do work off a motorboard and it is easier to work off a motorboard but for color coats this one particular the background's quite clean as you can see it's not as badly stained there's no algae really growing in this area so I want to keep my mix on diluted on stained and keep it fresh looking so that it blends in well so again I started top left and working my way down and across and the way I do more or less all my work and like I said before the bottom of this wall again should stay fresher than the top um, but with the top being in the shade it, it shouldn't be quite as dry as part one of the Pebble Dyson series but again it's still very very warm um, these stones in fact these are different stone in the first video um, I'll drop a link to the first video in case anybody's missed it in the first video them stones were lime chippings and this video here the stones are marble chippings and these stones in fact are a bit heavier than the other ones they're bigger and they're larger stone so like I said in that video as well you have to adjust your coating to make sure them stones bed in and stick well so this coat will be a wee bit a wee bit thicker just slightly so now basically the tactic I'm going here this is a first coat you can see that very top there I've left a wee bit out and the reason for that is the scratch coat was pretty proud there so just not building that out just yet and keeping well behind on every other area around the edges and what I will do is I'll coat this again so this is technically just a wee this is just like a like a light light coat and this what this coat will do will take the sting out of any dryness in the wall as well and then my next coat it's basically it's still more or less a one coat system that I'm doing but my, my next coat will stay fresher I'm gonna obviously it's same day I'm gonna do it straight away here as you'll see there'll be no breaks in this video it's just gonna be just carrying on I think this video shows a bit better we've got a better angle as well compared to the first one so again even with the first coat I'm trying to keep it nice and neat 
trying to pick, I was picking out a few wee stones that got in. Um, so just keeping everything neat as my next coat here will follow suit. As you can see, I'm giving it no time to dry up. I'm going straight away again. But this coat, what I will be doing is all my edges will be made out to the depth that I want. It's, it's not flush to the stones, it's just flush to the, the render that the stones are bedded into. And again, both coats, my undercoat had waterproof in it and the top coat has waterproof in it. And you see it's quite handy for wetting down and there's actually a water top right beside me here. So I wasn't struggling to, to give it a good drenching down. And like I said in my previous Pebble Dash rendering videos, that obviously the neater you coat it, the, the neater the stones will go on as well. Like don't don't worry, don't don't worry too much about every single wee line, because the stones will will bear them in and will shape it as well. But you know, some lines if you know if they're too heavy, you will see you will see that through the, the stone, through the dash. Um I will, I'll drop links to the previous video and other Pebble Dashing videos I have. Um, I also have a playlist on the channel with Dashing, which will have wet dash, uh, dry dash, and all, all sorts. I do have one more job coming up with Pebble Dashing, and uh, basically in the near future. I think I'll do a wee before video, because... Um, Basically, I've got the run of the job. I can do whatever I want, um, but I haven't decided what way to finish it. Basically, it has been plastered previous by somebody else. Not a great job. It's all boast, and what it, what it is is it's concrete head. So their mix is coming boast off the concrete head, but the house is pebble dashed, where for some reason they just double floated the head. I think they were going to wet dash it. I think that's what their plan was, was to wet dash it or hit it with a, a turning gun. Um, but I don't know why they would do that unless then they planned on painting the house previous. It was previous owners had did this work. So I can't ask them because I don't know them. Um, you know, and So basically I'm not, not sure. I can fix it whatever way I want. I want it solid, I want it waterproof. But I might, might do a wee before video and show you all what I'm up against. Um, it's not going to be hard to hack it off as it is loose, it's just hanging. Um, but what we have finished it, I'm not sure. I might do bands, be coin stone, I might do a bit of an arch. Um, but I've also been thinking of my buddy Skylark. Um, and again, I'm going to drop his channel, the wall that I like. I'm going to drop his, his video in my description. And I want you to have a look at that if you get time. Um, and I'm, I'm also thinking of maybe doing that sort of on this wee job. Um, I have another job up where I will be doing it. I've asked him for advice on it. I have, obviously, it's a different type of plaster. Um, his is one where you mix the stones in with a mix. Would remind you of wet dash, but then you basically trowel it on and you wash it off. And it looks brilliant. And he's an absolute genius at it, so you know, I have a step to do, I will be doing a step um, with it. I'll probably show all this on another video, but um, I'll get back to this hard to video that's all for the future. So keep keep your keep subscribed and keep your eyes open for the, for the end videos. And also, if you have an opinion or advice, what do you think I should do, or what would look good on that particular job, you can let me know. But I'll leave it there at that. So guys, I basically have this coated. I'm just neatening up my joint at the bottom. And what I will do is some joints, you know, we'll, we'll just tidy them up with a wee brush before. Um, as I did in, in the previous video as well, the joints. You can tidy it up with a wee angle brush, wee tussle brush. And give it a wee clean. But unlike the, the first video where I plastered half of it, dashed some, then cut my joint. The way I double coated this one will give you that wee bit more time. So, you know, if you think you're going to struggle, you might want to do two lighter coats other than one heavy coat. 
um, especially in the summertime. Winter time is a different ball game. You won't want to even wet the wall down quite as much because the, the heat has an effect on how quick the render dries. And obviously if it's colder, that maybe a wee splash or one wet down will be enough to keep your wall moist enough so the stones stick and your coat doesn't dry. So just getting the bags down again guys. And again there's, there's actually a drain here too, keeping it covered. And wanna have obviously you don't want wanna be picking stones out of a drain. And uh, I don't want to block it up either. So getting it all covered up. Using ladders. Pe people seem to hate when I use ladders, but crates weren't gonna get me quite as high enough to get to the top here and keep it neat enough. And again, I used my good skimming trowel to lay this on to try and stop any waves and reduce lines and that. Um, my good Rafina skimming trowel and my dashing trowel here is the ox trowel as well, which is I found it very nice for dry dash. Um, I think I do have a wet dash video coming up, but I'm not sure if it's this trowel I use or I couldn't find it at the time. Sometimes you just know yourself the first tool you get your hands on will be the tool you come across and use for the job. And I wouldn't keep it dicer that I wouldn't be very comfortable in using. I would just pass it on to somebody else that may like it and might be able to use it better. So you can see what I've done, guys. I'm still working at the top, working my way down, but I did go down along the first joint just to make sure that the stones stuck there well as your joints where you're patching can be the problem areas where it will bounce a bit more slightly to the first video where the dash you know the bead dried a lot quicker as well so it's a similar idea to that you can see how far this isn't the full bucket of stones I'm using it's actually only half bucket you want to only fill your buckets halfway up because you know, you've got to hold them. If I know this is only a small job, but it actually takes a lot of energy still to get this all prepared, get your mix done, get get it put on quick enough and tidy enough, get the stones put on nice and tidy, and then clean up. There's still quite a lot of work in small jobs like this. Um, but what I was going to say is only fill up your buckets of stones halfway, just keep them light. If you want to fill up two or three half buckets ready to go, and you'll find that you, you, more even you put it on your trowel, the more even the spread is, and you know the more, you know the more tidy and uniform you'll get the stone spread at all. So it's all about how tidy it is on the trowel as you're flicking it. And the other thing I would say is make sure your bucket, you can get your hand under the wee lip at the bottom. And you hold the hand all the way so it doesn't get caught. But you can see that's that's this job more or less completed. Um, but it is all really, really down to your preparation. And obviously your experience will will help you. The more you do these big jobs, the better you'll get at them. Um, but basically I'm just left with the cleaning up time now. But this job with the double coat, I, I find the double coats gives you a wee bit more time. Um, you don't have to, where I was in part one, you don't have to sort of try and coat and dash and then coat and dash and then coat and dash. Sometimes you'll get away with just getting it all on. Keep an eye on it, don't let it dry too much on yourself. If it does start drying, um, and if you're coating the left or right the way I was, then you might want to get your your left side dashed. So just coming in for a closer look. And you can see it's came in pretty tidy. Nice and even. Joints aren't too bad. This bottom here, I am gonna tidy that up a wee bit more with with a a wee tassel brush as it is just a wee bit fat looking as when the stones hit, it's time to squish the mortar out just slightly. And I will, there's a wee 
hole there where pipe was and we'll tidy that up too. But you can see, try and show you what I'm doing here in the brush. Just jab it back in any wee fat bits and it will patch in a lot, lot tidier looking. You know, you don't have to do every area, any bit that looks fat and proud, you can press it on in. But I think I'll just leave, leave this video as it is now and I have a lot of clean up to do. I have to clean my soffit and clean the floor up here. So I hope that helped, guys. And, you know, there is a wet dash video yet to come. And that's that bit done too. So, you know, I hope this helped. I hope you, you stick around for the next wet dashing video. I'll catch you on that.